Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another food bank haul for you. Now this is our local food bank. You're allowed to come once a day if you need to. I like to go once a week. I feel like that really helps with our groceries. Nowadays, it's getting so hard to just live, to rent, to pay your mortgage, to pay your electric bill. And then on top of that, you gotta get groceries that are overpriced. It is hard on the average family, let alone the working poor, to be able to afford food for your family. So if this is the case for you and you find yourself struggling at the grocery store to get enough food to feed your family, please consider going to your local food bank. That is what it is there for. I have resources listed below if you need help getting started with that. If you're new here, I'm Carolina. I live in Montana and I'm just an everyday homeschooling, homeworking mom. Got a YouTube channel, homeschooling my three kids, just trying to make it in this world where we can save and get our own homestead. We're currently renting a house and it is astronomical what we are paying and we really want to get out from underneath this and go get our own homestead. So I started my channel just to give support to other people out there who are doing the same and just don't know how to cook. I have a lot of cooking experience. I've been a line cook for most of my adult career. I have a pastry degree. I just don't use that anymore. Instead, I'm at home with the kids and I'm homeschooling and trying to preserve as much food as possible for my family so I can afford to work at home and to homeschool. We feel like homeschooling is very important and that's something that we wanna make sure that we can do for our kids. So if this is the kind of content you're into where we're pantry cooking, we're homeschooling, and we're just overall supporting each other, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love for you to come join me in the kitchen and be a part of my YouTube family. And I also have a Facebook, Mama Bear's Homestead. If you're looking for overall support, recipe sharing, and just ideas on what you can do in the kitchen or as a homemaker, I hope you consider joining. We have a really great community going on there and I'd love for you to be a part of that. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, why yes, I did do something different with my hair. Let me tell you about it. We interrupt your previously scheduled program to bring you a moment from today's sponsor. And that is Ten Sky. Ten Sky has sent me this hair dryer to give a try and see how it will handle my hair. So those of you who know me, I am not a girl. I do not do hair stuff, I don't do makeup, I don't do nails. So I honestly have no idea about hair dryers. Um, I can't tell you the last time I used one. If I used one, it was to put the seals on the windows, you know? But I just got out of the shower and my hair, she wet. So let's get in here and give this a try. First thing off the bat, I like that it has a reusable cord part to it so it can be really this is a long cord so it can stretch really far but then it can also close as tight for storage oh it's got a protector as well gonna take that off all right let's see can't what do i need a brush I need brushes for hair dryers i have a comb hold on let me go get a brush all right got my brush ow probably need to trim my hair the ends are not the best all right, we got that. They also sent me this diffuser. So this end can come off and this goes on. This apparently is really helpful if you have curly hair to keep it from fizzing, fizzing, fizzing. So let's just give the Rager Rager one a try. Is there plastic on that or plastic? Oh, ha, <laughs> ho, ho. So you've been sharing it. There was three different colors. There's plastic down here too. And they sent me the blue. See this plastic here. Okay, on. Oh, look right here. It does little temperature 120, 175. So you can do a cool one or you can do a hot one. Whoa, turbo. There you go. Oh, whoa. Oh. Put this thing on. What is this to help? Where's my brush? Oh. I don't know, you guys gotta give me some tips on good blow dry techniques in the comments below here for all of us non-girls out there. Is there a way you gotta do it? Well that's nice. I like that it has yeah. <laughs> I like that it has the cool option so it doesn't have to be hot. Let's try this part. I 
Because you're so fancy. Okay, flip down. Wow, that looks pretty good. Usually when I let it air dry, it kind of gets fizzy, I guess. If you notice in some of my videos, I always look like I need to brush my hair. I really think this hair dryer is gonna help me feel better about myself because I'm gonna be, you know, putting in some effort to make my hair look good. It's dried in no problem, so I don't have to worry about having a crinkle in my hair from my ponytail or it having that ring, you know, whenever you'd get like hat hair or stuff like that when you put your hair up when it's wet. So this was really nice. Man, I really like this attachment. I think that really helped with my fizz. And then this is just like, if you need it done, this will get it done. The screen's really cool that it tells you what you're on, the heat, the cooling, what temperature it's going on. Another thing that is really cool is that it all comes in this little bag that you can zip and it all fits in there. And you string it up, and now that's for easy storage. Get out of here, husband. I really like this hair dryer, guys. If you're looking for a new hair dryer in your life, I hope you give this a try. And make sure you use my link below for an additional discount. All right, let's get back to your previously scheduled program. Don't you like it? It just looks so smooth and silky. I used it on my six-year-old as well, and she's kind of had the same reaction as I did. All right, all right, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get into this haul. All righty, let's get started with the breads. I was able to get a garlic loaf. This is pre-sliced. Oh, I thought that was mold already, but I don't think so. I think it's just a garlic loaf. Smells good. This would be perfect for garlic bread. It's already pre-seasoned, you know, pre-sliced. You could toast it up and make like a grilled cheese sandwich out of it. That would be good. I also got this big bag of kind of like mystery bread. There's a giant bread roll in there. And then there's half of a, looks like a um, whole wheat with some um, pumpkin seeds on there. What are those called? Uh, they're not, they're like pepitos, pepitas, P-E-P-I-T-A, is that right? Anyway, there's those. And then there looks like there's some cheese loaf. I'm not quite sure why I picked this up. It looked interesting though to have a bunch of different choices. If you have any ideas on what I could do with this, I could just cube it up and make like a frittata, or is that a strata? Stratata? Fratata. Anyway, I can make a tata with one of these. Um, or just slice it up for sandwiches. I don't know, I thought it was an interesting choice, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then for the veggies, they had more of this giant rhubarb. About as tall as my kid here. So I'm looking forward to figuring out what to do with this. One of you have told me to try rhubarb custard, so I think I'm gonna give that a go. And then they had this Asian chopped salad kit. It's always good to get extra salads, but this is all cabbage. It's savory and green cabbage, carrots, celery, wonton strips, sliced almonds, green onions, and cilantro. So I don't know if maybe I can convert this into egg roll in a bowl. I think that sounds pretty good. So instead of eating it as a salad, you can just cook with it and make it something new. It's just an idea, or we could just eat it as a salad. And then I got some bunches of kale. These need to get used up ASAP. They're starting to get a little, little, a little, a little yellow. But kale, kale is super hardy for you. And it's, this is one of the things that you can dehydrate and then powder it up and kind of sneak it into um, foods for the kids, you know. So two big bunches of kale. And then they had a, a little tomato plant who needed a home. It looks pretty crispified. I don't know if it's going to grow into anything. It's an early girl. But this one needed a home, and you know I'm all about getting rescue plants. So I grabbed this, and even if the tomato plant doesn't make it, I can reuse this container for my gardening next year. So I was happy to grab a tomato plant. Mama, I'm just feeling well cheeks. Well, maybe it's babies, like baby birds or something, honey. Baby birds? Yeah. Put some salt in there. Yep. Can I put an uh, eggshell? Oh, I did one already. Sorry. Just mm. not two. Uh, good. Just two? Yeah, you can do another one, Conrad. That's fine. Perfect. Can I go 
făcut de apă pe tot. Ia. Oh, we got put the tomato. I need to put the name tag there. Hey, let me do it. Nope, nope, nope. We're not doing a bit. Okay. But you can do the next one. There we go. Hopefully he grows. Yep, hopefully See, his plant grows. And then in the pantry, I grabbed two cans of sweet peas. They had this box of Zatarans. Uh, it's pretty crushed up. They had a whole bunch of them there. So I grabbed one of these. This is the black beans and rice. I haven't tried this one, but I do love black beans. So I think that this will be really good. And then they had some of this Roma rice. I've never heard of this before. It looks like it's from Sardina? Sardina? I think that's how you say it. That's how I'm saying it. Looks just, oh, it's ris risotto. Risotto Roma rice. So maybe this is strictly for a risotto. Interesting. I've never seen this before, so I'm excited to give it a try. They had an extra bag of chips, so I grabbed one of those. In the frozen section, they had some of the Sloppy Joe mix frozen up. They do that where they put it in portions of extra food. And sometimes they have Chinese food in there as well. So um, I grabbed it. I'm sure I can either serve it up for the kids or make something out of it. For the milk, I grabbed one half gallon of 1%. Can I have a um, sprinkle cake? Sure. Sprinkle cake? Is that one of our new chickens? <laughs> she like getting up in your hair, doesn't she? Ew, 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 ew. She's gonna poop on you. Get on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Alright, let's go put it back. Oh, I got chicks everywhere. Yes. And then for the meats, it was a good meat week. I was able to get three good portions of meat. So the first one is a steak. This is a skirt steak. Um, it says it's seasoned. Ready in minutes. Oh, 18 minutes. Ready in 18 minutes. So skirt skates are one of skirt steaks are one of those things mostly I think you turn into fajitas. Does anybody cook these regularly? What are your suggestions on this? So this is a good meat to grab for the family meal. Sometimes they have like single steaks and stuff that I'll grab just, you know, make myself a steak because mama deserves it. And sometimes though they have good meals that you can make for the family. So I was happy to grab one of these. And speaking of that, they had a whole pack of chicken breast. This is four and a half pounds. And it was really nice to be able to get this because again, this is one thing that can turn into several meals for the family. So I was happy to grab that. And then they had a thing of pub burgers. These are six ounces each, I believe. Um, there are six of them, which is perfect because we are a family of six. But it says jalapeno, so I think it has jalapeno and cheese in them. Mm. Which, once I think if the jalapeno is cooked into the meat, it does, it's not really as spicy. So I think these would be okay to do. So we get to have burgers one day this week. That's exciting. And that's everything I got on my haul this week. If you're new, one of the things that I like to do is take something from my haul and turn it into a meal and kind of show how you can repurpose everyday foods to make a big meal for your family. So let me go get my apron and let's do some cooking. All right, everybody, got my apron on. I got all my ingredients set up over on the stove. So let's head over there and let's show you what I'm up to. All right, here is my lineup. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of like an egg roll in a bowl and use this chop kit mix for that. I'm gonna cut up some of this kale and use it. I have that sloppy joe mix. I'm gonna use this as my meat. And then I have some peppers here that I need to get used up. They have created their own little juice there. So I'm gonna put some peppers in there. I'm gonna dice an onion and put that in there. And then I have some garlic that I cooked in olive oil and it's kind of like garlic infused oil and roasted garlic, it's really good. So I'm gonna throw some of this in there as well. And that's what we're cooking. Yes. All right, so let's take this off and I'm gonna give this a rinse. Water literally rolls right off kale. So now when you're cooking kale, you cannot use the stems, at least I don't. So I take the stems out and just use the leaves. You just grab it by the bottom and kind of pull in the opposite direction. It'll come right off and then you'll be left with the stem. 
I'm gonna rough dice my onion first before I get to the kale. Turn our stove on. I'm gonna be using my stainless steel pan for this one. I usually am a cast iron pan, but I recently got this set and I really like it. So I'm trying to cook with it a little more, experience myself more with different cookware. So we're going to chop up this kale a bit. Just gonna kind of roll it up. Let's add a little bit of bacon grease. I usually just keep some in a jar here on my stove. of our bell peppers. The juice might activate the, the bacon grease a little bit. The juice will evaporate and then it'll start crisping up. And then here's some garlic I'm throwing in there. Might turn my heat up a little bit. that cook for a bit till we until we add the kale good thing about that garlic is it kind of just turns into a paste you don't get big cloves of garlic right, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the kale All right and then I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the rest of this kale use for another dish while it's out here. All right, I got all this kale chopped up. I might throw this in the freezer too and then this will be easy to like throw into stews and stuff. Mmm, this is already smelling good. That kale starting to wilt down a little bit. Now kale doesn't wilt as much as like spinach or lettuce does. But it does get a little bit. You just gotta cook it more because it's a lot tougher than spinach. Alright. Crack open this. I'm gonna take out the goodie packet with the wontons and the almonds and the dressing. We'll put the cabbage in here. The kids are playing Mario if you hear them. No matter how many times you have to be quiet while you play the game, it is impossible to be quiet while you're playing at Mario Brothers. <laughs> We just got a Wii, a used Wii hooked up from our aunt, and they are having all the fun with it now. We did have tablets for them, but we just took them away because I feel like their behavior has really been affected by it. Do anybody you guys have kids with tablets that do that? I don't know. We've taken, taken it away for like three months now, and they just have like some Mario, and then they can watch some YouTube kids, but no more, no more tablets for them. They were getting to be a bit out of control with it. All right, so we're just, gonna, anyway, side note over. So we're just gonna let this keep cooking for a little bit until that wilts down, and then we'll see about adding the beef. I'm gonna go ahead and salt these veggies. Let's add some of the sloppy joe. all of it in there. See how this turns out. <laughs> Conrad! Alright, let's give it a try. See what it tastes like. Wow. That's really good. It definitely tastes like Sloppy Joe's, but it has the crunch of the cabbage. Man, that tastes really good. 
I think it needs some more flavor though. I think I'm gonna add maybe some of this sauce packet. Let's see how that goes. And by some, I guess I mean all. All right, let's get that stirred around. Let's see if that helped. <laughs> maybe it made it gross, who knows? It's worth a try though. All right, let's try it again. Oh, that actually helped. I feel like this needs some rice now or something. I have some minute rice that I had stored in my go bag that I need to get used up. So I think I'm going to cook some of that to go with this kind of egg roll in a bowl. So let's get this turned off. It's all heated up and cooked. All right, let's put a lid on this to keep it warm. Now, good thing about well, these ones are real, they're stackable, so they're made for like camping and stuff. So it has a removable handle, so they're easy to stack. Let's see, unlock, press these buttons. Just, there we go, opens it up, and then you lock it. And there you go, you got a sturdy handle. All right, so we got two cups of rice. I have some better than bouillon chicken stock that I'm trying to get used up out of my fridge. So I'm going to use this to make the chicken stock for my rice. I also have a little bit of cam cowboy candy brine left over. I think will go pretty good in it. And I don't, I think it'll get dispersed evenly with the heat. Yeah. Oh, this is the one that had a bit of pineapple in it. Oh, that'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna put two cups of water in here and get it kind of heated up in the microwave to use this chicken stock. All right, Chef Mike cooked this for me for three minutes. And if it's not dispersed evenly, it's fine. Like by the time it gets done cooking, it'll be good. So add that to our rice. With minute rice, it's equal parts rice to water. Perfect. Okay, right, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna cook this for 10 minutes and then we'll try our dinner. All right, our rice is done. Some rice. Oh, that rice smells good. All right, let's put some of the egg roll in a bowl on top of there. All right, let's give this a try. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty tasty. Also looks out like that steam. Okay. Wanna try it? Yeah. What do you think? Ah, two thumbs up. All right, let's get a bowl. Okay. And just like that, we have a super tasty dinner using a combination of what I got from the food bank and what I have in my pantry. Don't forget that if you're looking for a hair dryer in your life, to check out Tin Sky below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bird's.
Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>